Hello friends and welcome to or welcome back to Erin Twibbles Around Aimlessly. I'm Erin and along with my husband Gary we are on a debt-free journey using a budget mom and Dave Ramsey inspired zero-based budget approach to pay off all of our consumer debt in 2021. And today is my favorite day out of the week. It is Transfer Tuesday. A weekly practice, it was popularized by Mary over at Penny's Not Perfection, and where we make some form of money movement, large or small, to pay off debt, savings, investment, other, whatever our focus is going to be for either that week or even for that month. And so my husband and I, we have very ambitious goals, and this is just another tool in the kit that we are using to reach those goals, maintain our motivation, and stay accountable. So let's go ahead and jump right in to what our transfers were this week. So it's been a bit of a wonky week here with different things and such that have been going on, but nonetheless, we are still making our transfers today. As I said, this is just something that helps to keep us motivated and keep us moving forward and showing as well that uh, progress happens even in small steps. So we have four things that we're saving for this month. Uh, one, of course, is adding to our credit card and so making an extra payment there. And this month, uh, that is going to be $66. And that was just from a little bit of extra income that came in and some, um, uh, some items that were budgeted for that just came in under that budgeted amount for our roundup. And again, I always round up all of our debit transactions and I round up to the nearest $1, $5, or $10, just as I would if I was using notes. And for that, we are transferring $28.64. And again, this goes to a spare funds account, which is just kind of a temporary home while we decide where we want to put that to what we want to target, but at least it is out of our account. I am doing the Budget Mom March Challenge, and so this is also going to go to the spare funds for now. It's about taking a percentage of what you have left over after paying your bills um, and transferring that amount. And for this particular paycheck, that is going to be $8. And then last is in February, we had to tap into our subscriptions sinking fund to pay for some of those uh, vehicle maintenance costs. And so we are paying that money back in. The reason why we want to get the money back in here is because subscriptions are going to come due faster than anything else. Maintenance and uh, utilities, which we didn't touch, but maintenance and such like that, that's, that's already going to start replenishing. And to be honest, the purpose of the money in those accounts is to be spent. They're, they're not savings accounts. The money is not to be in there and just stay there. And I was, so I was thinking about that and I was and I, talking to myself and to my dogs, which one of them sometimes talks back, and, and really trying to get that kind of through my head that my sinking funds, at least for me, are not savings accounts. It is not meant for me to put money in there, never touch it again. We'll have a separate saving account for that. Well, we actually do have a separate saving account for that. So, but for the subscriptions, because we are going to need that money, that is $112. And then that will bring us back current. So between this and the emergency fund, that brings us completely current. We're not going to focus too much more on trying to replenish that because basically those accounts did what they were supposed to do. Maintenance costs came up, we used the money to cover that maintenance. And a bit of an emergency came up with all of the vehicles in the bike and we used the money to cover that emergency. And we've put that money back and we're good. So our total in savings and debt payment this week, this first week of March, the 5th of March, is $214.64. So again, onward and upward, moving and making uh, some progress. I do apologize kind of for the sunlight that is coming in, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day here. I, I just, yeah, need to have the sunlight coming in. So I hope wherever you are, you are having an absolutely 
gorgeous, beautiful day, a beautiful week, and that your month is off to a really good start. Well, along with our credit card payment, I like to track what our progress is is and for that I use as many people do um, the I paid off my credit card chart from from um, Heidi Nash at Debt Free Charts only coloring in a tiny little sliver not even a full box um, this week and that's okay because guess what that's still more white space that's no longer white space it's colored in, we're moving forward. We're making that progress. And that is what we like to see. And that's why I say it is not about the amount of money that you are transferring. It is about getting in the behavior. It would be very easy for me to go, well, it's only $66. I may as well wait until next week. But I like seeing that I am consistently making these transfers, that I am consistently making some form of progress. And so this is why I encourage so many people to do it because even small steps are a step forward and there's no steps backwards, which is also really good. I don't even know how I would do that. I wouldn't be able to erase anything. I digress. Last is our, I guess my little pseudo tracker that I have as well. And so I started this back at the very beginning. Again, I have the amount amortized. So what shows here is slightly different from what is on my bank statements, but they should come out about the same or, you know, they'll be off by maybe, you know, $40, $50. So everything that we did in January, everything that we did in February, and now we are focusing on March. So, so today is the 9th of March. It seems like March is just flying by already. This was an extra payment for $66 because it is the first payment of the week that are of the month. The total for the month is 66 and that 66 comes to one and a half percent of the amount owed. We still owe $4,528. So we have paid total year to date of $8,330 to this credit card, which is now with this additional $66, 65.1%. Definitely moving forward. So again, we are on track. Our aim is to pay an additional $2,100 per month. I'm gonna bump that up to about 22, 23 to see if we can't get this taken care of by the end of April. We shall see what happens, but if it goes into May, Meh, it does. And then we'll start focusing on our next consumer debt, which will be our personal loan. And we'll start this process all over again. So Transfer Tuesday will remain, it will just change in terms of what we will be focusing on. And that's the other nice thing is your focus doesn't have to stay the same throughout the entire year as well. Your focus doesn't even need to stay the same throughout the month. Your focus can change week by week. You can have something different that you're focusing on week one, week two, week three, week four, and just rotate through on those. It's entirely up to you. Make it yours. That's the thing about personal finances. They're personal. And so you do what works for you. So hopefully all of you guys are making some really good progress if you're working towards saving, investing, or any types of financial goals. As I said, it's not about the actual amount. It is not about the actual uh, you know, title. It is about the consistency in behavior. That is what we are truly aiming for here. So again, this is your weekly reminder to make a small transfer if you can invest it, pay off debt, save it, um, give to charity, whatever it is that you're working towards, just make a little money movement, even if it's just a dollar. You know, one of ours was $8 this week, and that's okay, because that's $8 more than is, than is sitting in there as well. And once you do, comment down below and let me and the others know what, what you did and what progress you are making as well, because we love sharing the progress and the successes of other people and motivating them and cheering them on and supporting them. That's so, so critically important. So as always, remember to choose kindness, show gratitude, and always keep a positive mindset. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.